It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Thursday, the 8th of October. I'm Michael Groff. Temperatures up in the triple digits once again, but after today or perhaps tomorrow, that should be it. The question is, will it last for several days or several months without another 100 degree day? We'll dive in and talk about it first. Yesterday just missed a record once again. The afternoon high, 103 degrees. The morning low, 73. The normal high, 92. The normal low, 69. Outside now, here at 625 a.m., the sun coming up over the valley, clear sky out there, and we're sitting at 73 degrees at Sky Harbor, dew points at 29, relative humidity 19%, wind from the east-southeast at 12, and the barometer is steady. Temperatures out there this morning, 54, the cool spot at Fort McDowell, 57 at Goldfield. A number of locations around the metro are in the 60s, of course, low 70s for the warm spots. The upper air look across the country, of course, the big feature is on the board. We've got our ridge here across the southwest, which is very slowly starting to weaken. And over the western Gulf of Mexico, there it is, Hurricane Delta. More about that in just a moment. You see on the watch warning map, a number of red flag warnings continue for the Rockies and out into the Plain States. Air quality alerts continue for the valleys of California with the wildfires still going. And of course, along the Gulf Coast from extreme southeast Texas over toward coastal Mississippi, you've got tropical storm and hurricane warnings, storm surge watches, flash flood watches, all of that in anticipation of Delta, which will be making landfall sometime late tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow evening. The convective outlook for today, a marginal risk of severe storms from around Morgan City, Louisiana, over toward Mobile, Alabama. That is the possibility of a few isolated water spouts or spin-up tornadoes on the outer bands of Delta as it gets closer to the coast, especially by this evening. And speaking of Delta, here it is, the satellite presentation of this as it came off the Yucatan Peninsula and now out over the Gulf. At one point yesterday, this was down to a Category 1 storm, now back up to a Category 2, packing maximum sustained winds of 100 miles per hour. Very impressive storm nonetheless. The official track from the Hurricane Center does bring it back up to a Category 3, a major hurricane, at least briefly later this afternoon, tonight, and into the early morning hours tomorrow. But then as it gets into the northern Gulf, this should encounter some more southwesterly shear, as well as cooler waters on the approach to the coast. And so that should weaken it somewhat. But we're still talking about a Category 2, likely at the point of landfall, which should be somewhere pretty close to the Sabine Pass as that forecast track continues to lean ever so slightly further to the west. And that's very bad news because those were the same areas that were hit by Laura uh, not that long ago. All right, precipitation around here for the next seven days. No rain expected in the valley. Really nothing to speak of statewide and not a whole lot across the region. Dry conditions will continue, although temperatures lowering somewhat. Just how much? Still a bit in question, and we'll get out to modeling right now. Take a look at it. Here we go. The GFS, the 06Z run, valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon. There's our ridge here across the southwest, delta out over the western Gulf of Mexico, and a short wave, which is making headway toward the central and northern California coast. What it means for us down at the surface today, a few high clouds, otherwise mostly sunny, highs in the upper 90s to about 101. And if most of the model guidance is to be believed, this should be the last day that we have temperatures in the triple digits, at least for a little while. Tonight, the skies are mostly clear. The air is dry. Overnight lows in the mid-60s to low 70s. Tomorrow, sunny, not quite as warm. Highs in the mid to upper 90s. We're going with highs somewhere between 95 and 99. Could we still sneak up to the century mark? Absolutely, but I think we'll be just shy of it. Now, as we get to the weekend, the model's coming into slightly better agreement on the idea of this short wave moving down the west coast and getting cut off from the main belt of westerlies and sort of sitting around the northern Baja coast and then eventually beginning to move east after that. The trough that we've been talking about to bring in our cooler temperatures still over the Pacific Northwest, unsettled weather up that way, but this should be a shallower trough. Some cool air advection will come in here, no doubt, but probably not as much as initially projected. So, Highs on Saturday, still likely in the low to mid-90s. The sky mostly sunny. Some light breezes, especially over northern Arizona. On Sunday, the breezes should pick up just a little bit. Highs, upper 80s and low 90s for us. And then Monday, back in the low 90s, the sky sunny, the air dry, and light breezes continue. 
Then high pressure will very quickly build in after that. And the extent of this ridge is still a little bit up in the air. Some of the guidance has it further to the west and not nearly as intense. Some have the ridge much closer to us and upper heights significantly higher. We'll kind of split the difference for now. We'll go with highs, uh, low to mid 90s on Tuesday, mid to upper 90s on Wednesday. Think we're going to stay a few degrees shy of the 100 degree mark, though. Let's go out to a week from today. This is Thursday the 15th, 591 Ridge, the axis of which centered further to the west. That means the core of the heat should stay just away from us. High temperatures are still going to be above average, though, likely in the mid-90s. And a northwest flow aloft keeps us very dry. And then as we look out 10 days, this is Saturday the 17th. And the ridge weakens a little bit. Still a very broad upper ridge, though, as you can see, extending all the way up into the Northeast Pacific. Upper heights here, 585, 586 decameters. That still translates to high temperatures in the low to mid-90s and a very dry air mass to hold on. So maybe we're done with the 100-degree days, but I'm not ready to declare that just yet. And let's check out precipitation today off of the GFS Ensemble. And for those of you not aware, we haven't shown this graphic in a while, the GFS Ensemble now has 31 members, used to have 21 members. And a little under half of them show measurable rain in here over the next couple of weeks. But realistically speaking, probably going to stay dry through late October. The Ensemble mean is around a tenth of an inch here. All right, temperatures off the national blend of models. It has us at 101 today and 99 tomorrow. That's pretty close. And then you can see getting back up into the mid and upper 90s next week. Too close for comfort for me. Overnight lows, at least, will become a lot more pleasant generally in the 60s to about 70. And that'll do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here tomorrow morning. If you enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share and click that notification bell so that whenever a brand new video is posted, you'll get the notice. Your comments, questions and suggestions always encouraged as well. Thanks so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. You guys be safe, stay cool and hydrated out there. Watch yourselves and each other around the pool and have yourselves a fantastic Thursday.